Um, can I call it, um, this is a, an exceptional budget for what are exception, exceptional, exceptional times. Um, the headlines are billions have been spent in this budget um, to keep us all together um, and to all work together. The priority for any government would be, have to be combating COVID-19 while trying to maintain jobs and people's livelihoods. But it should also be seen as an opportunity to take stock, to look at our society, identify the key problems and set a new course. And unfortunately, there is little prospect of that from Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael, or the other parties that have been in government, Labour and the Greens. COVID is a major challenge, but is not responsible for the perilous state of our public health services. The responsibility lies with decades of underfunding and a decade of austerity to pay for the bailout of the banks and developers. COVID is not responsible for the housing and homeless crisis. This crisis is the outcome of the decisions taken over 40 years ago to stop building public housing. COVID is not responsible for the uh, largest class sizes in the EU. It is not responsible for one of the most unequal societies in the world with unacceptable levels of poverty, including child poverty. It is one thing to allocate high levels of state spending in an emergency situation, but it is another thing altogether to link this spending to the structural reforms, the fundamental changes which are necessary. And to do that, you have to be prepared to admit what was wrong in the first place. A bit here, a bit there, Ref references to Shalon to Care will not deliver a single tier public health service with universal access. What is required is funding, yes, but also fundamental reform and a willingness, willingness to confront the vested interests who oppose it. I welcome the 38 million for the development of new services in mental health and the 12 million to support the, um, pre the service levels. Uh, it's put in place since 2021. But that has to be, as has already been said, ring-fenced. That 12 million cannot, cannot um, now, because the need of the service levels, be taken from the 38 million to back that up. That money has to be there to build capacity in our mental health services. This budget will do nothing to resolve the housing and homeless crisis. 500 million for capital expender, expenditure contrasts sharply with the 2.4 billion current expenditure, of which over one billion will go to private landlords through the Happen Ras schemes. 500 million to build new public housing, one billion to prop up our landlords. There's no commitment to build public housing or, and only public housing on public land. We know there's sufficient public land to, to build 100,000 mixed tenancies, including traditional council housing and cost rental. This budget has no ambition or political will to deal with the provision of housing for the thousands of people who cannot afford the high rents, who cannot afford to buy homes, and, and those people on the language and on the, uh, the local authority housing list and in emergency accommodation. Our education system, and in particular primary schools, have suffered years of chronic underinvestment. COVID is now showing up the lack of basic facilities such as hot water supply, an exception in our schools, seemingly. Minimal provision for cleaning and cramped and overcrowded uh, facilities for learning and play. We have the highest class sizes in the EU, with one in five pupils with a, a teacher-pupil ratio of one in th to 30 plus. The budget is saying it's going to provide 25 uh, pupils to one teacher. How many teachers will be needed? Do we have a pool of teachers waiting to be brought in to deal with this issue? Do we have teachers in training that can uh, um, take up those positions? We entered this crisis with almost 700,000 living below the poverty line, including 225,000 children. St Vincent de Paul commissioned a study which shows that a single adult needs a minimum of €249 Euro a week to just get by. It's the the um, core welfare uh, rates at the present level, leaving the core welfare rates at the present level, means a continuation of widespread poverty, which will undoubtedly increase as unemployment grows due to COVID-19 restrictions. We are heading towards a 50% jobless rate for workers under 25 years of age. Under 25s make up 11.7% of the labour force, but make up um, up to 22% of those on um, uh, PUP. A high proportion would have been uh, 
partial low paid workers and are therefore at the lower level of, of the pandemic unemployment payment, payment. In terms of job seekers allowance, 13,000 or 85% of, of under 25s are on the lowest rate, up to €112 Euro a week. The National Youth Council es estimates a young person living alone in an urban area taking rent into account needs at least €466 Euro for basic needs. €112 Euro is a quarter of that, with HAP still short of €190 uh, Euro a week for basics. The National Youth Council of Ireland called for an increase in this budget of an extra €45 Euro a week for those in 112, a review to increase the two levels um, to, to, to 203 over two years, um, at a cost of only 20, 35 million. They have been totally ignored. The PUP should have been restored to 350 in the budget, a move to level three nationally and possibly level four uh, is in most effective areas is, is extremely likely at this stage. The ability to borrow at almost zero, zero interest rates is an opportunity to begin to redress these problems in public health care, affordable housing, access to good quality edu education, where it matters most at primary level, and to tackle unaccepted levels of poverty. It is an opportunity that has been missed. And also one of the point, uh, Minister, contact tracing. I was contacted by a constituent whose partner tested pos positive last week on Thursday the 8th of October. She was only contacted today at half two in relation to a uh, contract uh, co uh, tracing. He was uh, declared uh, positive yesterday and contacted him today. So there's huge disparities in that system at the moment and we have to find out why. Um, because we know that track and tracing is key to chasing this virus down. Um, I'll leave it at that.